some bullet points on things that you might want to keep in mind when you're creating a home-based movement program. Um, one, move your body in all shapes, right? So every shape is something that we want to encourage our body to do. That means think about rounding your spine, think about arching your spine, think about side bending, think about rotating, think about hinging, boop, right? And those might be accomplished in any number of infinite ways. Um, there is no one right way to do any of those things. Um, you can get as creative as you want, but you want to pick something that one, you are 90% sure you can be successful at, meaning you're not picking movements or um, a training schedule that is unattainable. You're picking something like, okay, I, I'm pretty sure I can take a 10 minute walk every day, 90% of the time, right? That would be a really good place to start. Um, or maybe you're gonna start uh, by doing a, a class three days a week that you have always wanted to try and you just need like a schedule and, and to do it, right? 90% sure you could accomplish that, right? Give yourself kind of a low bar where you know that you can get there, right? And then you can build on that. Um, make sure you enjoy what you're doing, right? If you start a program and you don't really like it, change it. Totally up to you, right? Because sustainability over a long period of time is what we're after here. Um, and then one last bullet point here would be that, and we talked about this a fair amount in the workshop, that your pain doesn't always correlate with tissue damage, meaning that if you are in a little bit of discomfort, it doesn't mean that you are damaging anything in your body. And in fact, it might help to continue to move through that discomfort. That is, of course, always up to you. You know your body better than anybody else. So if you're feeling like it's not a good idea to move through that discomfort, then don't feel pressured to move through the discomfort, right? But also keep in the back of your mind that it might help you get out of discomfort if you continue to move through it. So <clears throat> as you start to build your home-based program, keep those little things in mind and it might help you be our, or have a more sustained program over time that you can do anywhere, anytime, any place.